are sitting nicely on table and chair and are with ready with your notebook and pencil. Today's topic is understanding numbers. In understanding numbers, we are going to understand how to compare two numbers, the successor, finding the predecessor and forming the numbers. But before we start today's session of understanding numbers, we are going to recap, revise what we did in our first session. In our first session, we learned place value in which we have learned the Indian place value system, how to insert the commas, how to write the number, how to write the number in expanded form. Example is here. First, I'll insert the commas using the place value, if you remember, ones, tens, hundreds, comma, thousand, ten thousand, comma, lakh, ten lakh. So, I'll read also and write the number as 23 lakh, 40,071. Similarly, we did the same in international place value system. Here also, I'll insert the commas according to the place value, ones, tens, hundreds, comma, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, comma, and million. And the same way we write it also, I'll write it as 2,340,071. And I'll expand it in the same way. I hope you remember what we did. So now let's move on to the new topic, which is understanding numbers comparing two numbers. So when we talk about comparing two numbers, there are two ways of comparing the numbers. One is when we have different number of digits. Suppose I'm comparing two numbers and both the numbers have different digits, then the number with more digits is the bigger number. Let's take the example here. The first number is having six digits. Whereas the seventh, second number is having seven digits. So the second number with the more digits will be the bigger number. But in case I have same number of digits for both the numbers, then in that case, we start comparing the digits from the left side. Let's take an example. Now both the numbers are having the same number of digits, that is seven. The first number is also having seven digits and the second number is also having the seven digits. So I start comparing the number digit by digit from the left side. The first digit from the left side for the first number is seven. For the second number also it is seven. In that case, I'll move to the second digit. Second digit is six. Here also the second digit is six. So I compare the third digit. 8, third digit here is also 8. So I'll have to compare the next digit that is fourth digit. Here the fourth digit is 7 and in the second number the fourth digit is 9. And when I compare 7 and 9, 9 is a bigger digit. So my second number is a bigger number. Now let's have a look at some more examples to understand this. Here I'm having a few more quick examples. You have to compare using different symbols. Now again, the first part, the number of digits are same. So I start comparing digit by digit. Five is the first digit. Second digit is eight. And second digit is seven in the second number. So, my first number is a greater number, the second part. First number is having seven digits and second number is having only six digits. So, I need not compare, I know which is the bigger one, the number with the more digits. So, second number, first number, sorry, is the bigger number. Again, the third I'll start comparing 8 and 8 same, 2, 2 same, 0, 
zero again, same. Four and five. Five is a bigger number. Yes. So my second number is a greater number here. Last one. Again, the second number. Yes, you are correct. The second number is the bigger number. This is how we compare the two numbers. Let's move on to our next topic and that is successor and predecessor. Successor means what comes next and predecessor means what comes before. Now, when we say what comes next or what comes after, how do we find the successor? By adding one to the number. Let's learn it with the help of example. The first number that is given is 9,29,499. So when I'm going to add one to it, what will be the answer? 9,29,500. So that means the successor is 9,29,500. Similarly, you are going to find this answer. I'll count till three and you will write the successor in your notebooks. One, two, three. Yes. Now I'm giving you the answer. You're going to cross check it. If it is correct, well and good. If you have made some mistake, you're going to correct this up. Yes, the answer is 79,99,000. Same you are going to do it for the last number. I'm going to count till three and you're going to write the number in your notebooks. One, two, three. Now check your answer. You were correct or not? Yes, one crore, 98 lakh, 97,951. In the same way, we are going to find the predecessor also. Predecessor means what comes before the number. So in this case, we are going to subtract one from the number to find my answer. Let's see. 45,69,500. So I'll subtract one from 500. This will make my answer as 45,69,499, right? Because minus one from 500 gives me the answer 499. All the other digits will remain the same. Now it's your turn. I'll count till three and you will write the answer in your notebook. One, two, and three. Now you can cross check the answer with the answer on the screen. Again, the next example, one, two, three. I'm giving the answer. Check your answer whether this is correct or not. Good, this is 5,9999. Practice with a few more examples so that the concept is a little more clear at home. Now, make the smallest and the greatest seven digit number. You've already done this in your fourth form also, making the smallest and the greatest number. So, let's see how to make it. When we say that we have to make a smallest seven digit number, we will start from the smallest digit. From the digits given to me, one is the smallest digit, so I'll start make, forming my number with one. One is repeated two times, so I'll also repeat it two times. One, one, two, five, eight, eight, nine. So my smallest number is 11,25,889. Similarly, when we are framing the greatest seven digit number, I'll start from the greatest digit, that is nine. 
and move on to the other digits in the descending order. Yes, this is how my greatest seven digit number is formed. Now, one more example. It is saying make the smallest and the greatest eight digit number. What are the digits given to me? Four, seven, one, zero, three, five. There are only six digits and I have to make eight digit number. In this case, what am I going to do? I'm going to repeat my digits. And how do I repeat? Which digit will I repeat? If I'm making the smallest number, I'll repeat the smallest digit. And when I am making the greatest number, I will repeat the greatest digit. Let's start here. I'm having zero as my smallest digit, but we all know that we don't start a number from zero. I will start the number from one. Yes, but I will repeat zero only for my digits because zero is the smallest number. So the smallest number that I'm going to frame is one, zero. Now, two more times I'll repeat the zero. Zero, zero, three, four, five, seven. And then only I get eight digit number. Similarly, when I'm forming the greatest seven digit number, I will repeat my greatest digit, which is seven. First, I'll write seven. And then I'll repeat seven two more times to make it a eight digit number. So the number that is framed is seven, 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 five, four, three, one, zero. Yes. Keep not in mind that always the smallest digit is repeated while framing the smallest number and while framing the greatest number, the greatest digit is repeated. Now, this is something very interesting and new to you. How many numbers have one digit? If I'll ask you in the counting, can you tell me how many digits have only one digit? You will start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Counting on your fingers and give me ma the answer that ma'am, there are nine one digit numbers only. But if I'll ask you to find two digit number in the counting, counting on the fingers will become hectic because there are so many numbers. So what we are going to do, we are going to use these simple steps, which is the smallest two digit number, it is 10. And what is the biggest two digit number? 99. So I will subtract the biggest two digit number and the smallest two digit number, the first step. So 99 minus 10 is equal to 89. And then I will add one to it. 89 plus one is equal to 90. That means my answer is that there are 90 two digit numbers starting from 10 to 99. Yes. Again, one example for a bigger number. Let's see. How many numbers have six digits? You have to find how many numbers are there in the counting that have six digits. Again, the steps will be the same. The smallest six digit number, the biggest six digit number, I'll subtract both the numbers and I get 8,99,999. And simple, I'll add one to it. So plus one means nine lakh. So my answer is that there are nine lakh six digit numbers in the counting. You have to find it for other numbers also. Like you can find it how many four digit numbers are there, how many five digit numbers are there, how many six digit numbers are there and so on. These are your practice questions. If you want to click the screenshot, you can always do that. 
and if you have any queries you can write it to me in the chat box use your chat box this is for your parents it says that we are highly grateful for your genuine cooperation in smooth functioning of the online classes we request you to post your feedbacks on manavds@yahoo.co.in the school website with a view to bring our future further value additions in our future endeavors